I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn few very interesting techniques to factor trinomials. Well the question before us is find the coefficient k so that the trinomial 36x square plus 8x plus k can be factored. You can pause the video answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Well I have seen this question in thinking problem as a bonus question and also as a general question. Now, uh, the whole idea of these videos is for my students to understand the topic and get good marks. At times, the question can be so difficult that you may lose all the marks. Now, in this video, also try to understand and learn how to salvage few marks in the worst possible scenario. Now, let's read this question once again. It says, Find the coefficient k so that the trinomial 36x square plus 8x plus k can be factored. Now, it does not really specify in what manner. Now, this is a difficult question. But what you can do is, you can think about group factoring, right? So, if you think about group factoring, in that case, you can have any even value right so any even value for k can work for example you can take 36 x square plus 8 x plus 2 for k for example right in that case you can factor 2 and you get 18 x square plus 4 x uh, plus 1 now that is also factoring correct now in this question, we have not really specified what type of factoring. Now these days I do find sometimes that the, you know, the questions are not very well defined. You can take advantage of that and score full marks, right? <laughs> because it's not your fault, right? Anyway, so here we found that the k is 2. Well, you could take k as any number, but even, right? You could take k as 10. In that case, it will be 36 x square plus 8 x plus 10 right let me write 10 now and then you can factor again even number right so you can factor 2 and you get almost a similar equation with constant as 5 now that is one way of doing it so so that is also factoring remember that factoring means taking something in common now sometimes we can add or qualify this statement with some conditions and that is, we say, find the coefficient k so that the trinomial 3x, uh, 36x square plus 8x plus k can be factored as a perfect square. Now, that is another way of factoring, right? So, you have to make it as a perfect square. So, basically, if you get this kind of equation, then what we can do is, we have 36x square plus 8x plus k. Perfect square means we need to write these terms as this could be written as 6x whole square, right? And uh, the center term, let me write this first, square root of k whole square and the center term is product of these two times 2, right? So 2 times we can write square root of k times 6x. So that becomes the center term. Now, for a perfect square, we can now find the value of k by equating 2 square root k times 6x. It is times 6x, right? Times 6x equals to 8x, correct? Now this can be simplified. So we can write this as square root k equals to 8x divided by 12x which could be written as x and x will cancel you can divide these by 4 so if you divide that by 4 you get 2 over 3 right so k is equals to 2 over 3 square so which could be written as 4 over 9 right so so you could do it like this and in that case you know k is 4 over 9 that means the equation you are working with is 36 x square plus 8x plus 4 over 9, right? So that is answer in fractions, which at times you may find 
very difficult to get in the test paper, correct? So that's also a way of factoring, correct? Maybe your teacher is expecting that and maybe you get a, the same question where you need to find k so that it becomes a perfect square. Now at times, I've also seen this question as a bonus question where I write this as product of binomials. So, so we have a product of binomials. Now that is kind of factoring with uh, like x plus a times x plus b kind of factoring, correct? Now that could be a question and that really makes it very difficult. Now if that is the case, now how to do this kind of scenario? So we need to factor the same equation 36x squared plus 8x, I'm running out of space here, uh, and you need to find a uh, factor, so th the value of k, so that it could be written as this kind of a binomial, which is normally expected when you factor a trinomial, right? Now, how to do that? So now, in such cases, what we should look for is product and sum. So, we are looking for uh, two numbers a and b, whose product is product of 36 and k, and whose sum is 8, right? Of course, 36 is a big number, so k should be negative. So, you should get that clue, right, starting from. So my suggestion here is start with factors, right? And we know this k also. We don't know what this value k is, but we'll consider that. 36 could be written as 6 times 6, and 6 could be written as 3 times 2. So basically, you are working with numbers like 6, 3, and 2. Now, you should think about k. Can 2 work, right? So if you use 2, then can some combination get 8 as the sum? And of course, we are looking for a negative number here since, you know, 8 is a smaller number than these, right? So, if you use a negative number here, then product of a positive and a negative will give you the answer, right? So, try out few numbers. For example, if I try, let's say, minus 5, right? In that case, I can make a combination, which is, uh, which I get the idea, because 6 times 3 is 18, do you see that? So at least I know 18 to get 8, I'm looking for 10. You get the idea, right? So 6 times 3 is 18, I need 8. So if I take away 10, I do get 8. And to take away 10, k should be minus 5, right? So I get a combination which is kind of like this. So the two numbers for me are 18 and, and minus 10. They work. And I can get this combination if k is minus 5. Do you understand? And so I write, well, let k be minus 5. So that is how you can actually get to factor this as product of two binomials. And then my equation will be 36x squared plus 8x minus 5. Correct? And now you can factor this using 18 and minus 10. So let that be the exercise for you. But I hope with the help of this video, you understand a couple of things that, you know, at times the question could be written as I wrote. And if you do not get this answer or that answer, which are kind of difficult, you could at least write this answer and get few marks, right? Maybe full marks, right? But if this question is qualified with some verbs like this, adverbs, I should say, uh, perfect square or product of binomials, then you have to really think and, and work it out. So we'll have a few more examples like this. And uh, I hope by the end of these few videos, you'll be in a good position to find the coefficients for a trinomial so that they can be factored. Thank you and all the best.